Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying new in snacks from B&M or just snacks that I've never seen before. Every time I go into B&M, which is a lot by the way, there are new snacks, new chocolate. And I'm sure when I've done this video before, people said that some of the snacks are imported from Australia. I don't know how true that is, but I guess it would explain it because when I see some of the things, I'm like, where have you come from? I've never seen you before. Can I just say, this video is heaven for me at the minute because it's that time of the month for me and majority of the things I'm trying today is chocolate. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'm gonna start with this one first of all because I actually picked this one up today. This is a dairy milk bar which says more with nuts and salted toffee. So it says dairy milk, milk chocolate with pieces of peanut, roast hazelnut and salted toffee. Here's what the bottom of it looks like. That smells very strong. It smells like a Snickers. Mmm, that is really good. Mmm, I'm never really a fan of like whole nut chocolate, but this, it just, it doesn't taste like that at all. It's kind of giving me peanut butter vibes. It's very salty, but also really sweet. It's reminding me of salted caramel. I've got a funny feeling this is gonna be my favorite product of the day because that is so good. It was so good, one chunk wasn't enough. That is the best chocolate bar I've tried in a very long time. 100% would buy that again. There was another flavor, but for the life of me, I can't even begin to think what the flavor was. Next thing I'm going to try is this Skinny Crunch chocolate granola. I see a lot of controversial things about this Skinny brand in terms of how they market their products. I'm going to talk about calories here, so if you're triggered in any way by calories, please skip forward. I'll put a timestamp on the screen. This is branded as like lower calories, so you think, oh my God, 117 calories for some granola, because granola's quite high in calories, but it's for a 25 gram serving. So I've actually got some other granola here with me, which you would have seen in a recent video. So this granola is 192 calories. So the calorie difference is less than 80, but it's for nearly double the serving size. So actually it's probably the same calories, if not more, I think, in this. It's just because they've marketed it for 25 grams. Who eats 25 grams of granola? That's literally nothing. Because I'd seen before about the skinny chocolate spreads and everyone was like, if you actually measure it or whatever, it's the same calories as Nutella and Nutella's much nicer. And I was like, right. So basically they're just cheeky with their marketing. Anyway, here's what it looks like. I'm gonna try one of the chocolate curls. I've accidentally poured loads in here. I would have just cropped that out, but that just took me a good couple of minutes to get in that pack. Clearly I was too lazy to get up and find my scissors. Not very nice. It's got a dust-like texture. As soon as you start biting into it, it kind of disintegrates. It's not that nice. I mean, it's definitely got nothing on this one. <laughs> it's not very sweet. I, even the flavor's a bit like, I don't know what to compare it to. Maybe like porridgey kind of flavor. Both the texture and the flavor are not great. So, so definitely wouldn't buy this again. Also, can I just say, I swear my hair is getting darker. Look, I literally matched my black chair. It doesn't look black in real life, but on camera and in some lights, it really does. I'm gonna stay with the same brand. So this is the Skinny Whip Minis. These come in two flavors. I remember the other one. They were dark chocolate and coconut, but I went for the hazelnut and chocolate because I know not everyone loves coconut and I wasn't fancy in the dark chocolate. These are just little nougat pieces look like that flavor of that is not very nice again i personally love this brand i love their salty caramel whips like loads of their flavors are really good so i've got nothing against this brand i usually love their stuff the texture's not bad it's chewy it's an artificial nut flavor and the chocolate is just not coming through so they're really not enjoyable so i'm not going to be buying these ones again next up i have an out of date product as i was taking the thumbnail i glanced over to see that these went out of date on the 28th of october it's now like the 3rd of november or something i know these do come individually wrap so they should be fine but this is a sticky toffee pudding slice by mr kipling i love sticky toffee pudding oh no these come in just one big thing so these are gonna go stale very quickly they smell good That's what it looks like i really like them 
You know you can get like mini packs of custard, like the kids size ones. One of them with a little pack of custard would be a really good dessert. Or even the vanilla protein pudding from Aldi. They're not too sweet. They've captured the sticky toffee pudding flavor really well. But yeah, I would definitely buy these again. I think they're really good. Next thing I'm going to try, I am very excited for. I love dime and milk or chocolate. Milka just reminds me of being on holiday so much. Okay, they're good sized bites. They're kind of like crunchy rocks. Yes, yes, and yes. These are literally perfect. They're an extra crispy texture. The chocolate's on point, the dime's on point. So good. 100% would buy these again. This would be like the perfect cinema snack. But I must say, I only saw one bag of these. Maybe they're old stock and I've never seen them before. But then I feel like these scream my name. So surely I would have noticed these before. But yeah, anyone who likes dime, I hope you can get your hands on these. I think it's time to do something savory. So I have some Pringles here. These are Mexican style chili taco flavor. Here we go. These are called the passport flavors. That flavour is spot on. That smells like a Taco Bell Beef Supreme Taco, whatever they're called. My favourite. I don't think I've ever had a Pringle to capture the actual flavour. So spot on. Oh my god, guys, you just need to try these. If you love Taco Bell, it's literally like eating it without eating it. They're a little bit spicy as well. I'm blown away. I feel like this is another one of my faves of the day. So my Taco Bell lovers get to B&M now. We we'll definitely buy these ones again. I'm only halfway there. Right, next up we have this. This is called the Caramel Hokey Pokey. I feel like this may have been out for a while, but this says caramelized white chocolate with honeycomb pieces. I remember I tried white chocolate and honeycomb from Asda maybe last Christmas, the Christmas before, and I didn't think the combination went that well, but then I guess this is caramelized, so this might be a bit better. Here's what it looks like. Some of these chocolates have been in the fridge, by the way. This is one of them. Wow. I need to stop eating it because I've still got a lot of chocolate to go, but that is unreal. The honeycomb in it is very subtle, but I personally love like the caramel blonde chocolate. The fact that it's got the crunchy bits in it just makes it 10 times better. And it's a thick chocolate. A lot of the caramel stuff is quite thin. That is really good. I would definitely buy that one again. Next up, we have our only sweets. These are the Starburst Jelly Bean Duos. Two in one flavors. Grey Paid, Tropical Cherry Splash, Raslin Watermelon. Oh no, how do I stop myself from eating? In that one strappleberry peach apaloozu it's embarrassing how i'm reading these out mine and jade's new favorite saying is no longer beggy mitchell we've moved on from the beggy mitchell we now have moved on to it's embarrassing <laughs> anyway um and banana berry blast wow they're like luminous oh my god these are mate what the hell that looks like um a, what's it called do you know what you learn in science what they call like an atom I don't know. These are like pure sugar. All I could feel in my teeth there was granules of sugar. I've got a lot of blue here, so they better not be three watermelons. Oh my, one of them is. One of them was watermelon. I'm not sold on these guys. What I've tasted so far, I'm not really blown away. The texture's a bit off in my opinion. Whatever that one was, that was nice, but yeah. They're very grainy. The texture is completely different to a normal jelly bean. I'm not here for it. So I wouldn't be buying these ones again. Next thing I have is one that's in the thumbnail. So this is the Speculoose. Now, Galak, I'm assuming that this is just another country's version of... I always get the wrong way around. It's either Milky Way or Milky Bar. That is looking good. That just tastes like white chocolate and cinnamon. Not my favourite flavours. Definitely doesn't taste like Biscoff. I know people are like Speculoos Biscoff, but it definitely just tastes like white chocolate cinnamon. It's not a bit of me. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, but it's just not a flavour I would reach for. So personally for that reason, don't know why I'm still holding on to it. I wouldn't get that one again. Next one I have, I have seen in all of the normal supermarkets. So this is the Munchies bar. So it's just gooey caramel and biscuit sharing bar. Oh no, sorry. I broke it before I showed you, but that's what it looks like. It looks like another bar. I just can't think of what it's called. A crunch? Is that what I'm thinking of? I just made that up. You guys are probably thinking I would love this because it has the crispy bits in. But I think it's just Nestle chocolate. Nestle chocolate just is a bit... Not the best chocolate, is it? Oh, 
I think the first half didn't really have any caramel in it because I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, caramel literally exploded out of that half. There's nothing wrong with it, but I think you guys would just eat it and you wouldn't be rushing back to buy it again. Not the best, wouldn't buy this one again. I just had to take a little five minute breather. I'm back in the room. So next thing I have to try is another caramel Cadbury bar. This is in combination with Breakaway. So it says caramelized white chocolate with layers of crispy wafer, a smooth creamy chocolate center. I've literally just ripped the packet to get to that but look how cool is that oh that's what it's looking like very crumbly wow that again is really good not as good as the honeycomb one definitely not as sickly because it's filled up with a lot of wafer i feel like the wafer texture is a little bit too soft i don't really reach for wafer products and so for that reason i wouldn't personally buy that one again but if you are someone who reaches for a kit kat then you'll probably really like that as i said the flavors are good just not something that i would personally reach for next up we have a terry's chocolate orange product so these are terry's chocolate orange truffles i'm pretty sure these went out last year i didn't see them or i don't remember them anyway. But yeah, these have a creamy and crispy filling apparently. Quite big. The orange smell is very strong. That reminds me of something. You know in quality streets when you get the orange crisp. It's like that, but a truffle version. I love the texture of these. The crispy bits are really good. I think with Terry's chocolate orange, it's one of them things that I don't mind having out around Christmas because you can't eat too many of them. For me, Terry's chocolate orange is something I just eat because it's there. But probably my favorite new chocolate orange item that they've done. I would definitely recommend these and I would buy these again. So my second and last savory product is another pack of these Pringle range. These say Middle East style roasted pepper and hummus flavor. I won't lie, hummus isn't really my thing. Oh no, but roasted red pepper. I was just gonna say roasted red peppers are, but then I just smelled them and I just thought, I don't know about these. I actually don't think I really know what hummus tastes like. I've eaten it on a rare occasion. These are definitely not as flavorsome. Yeah, I actually really don't like them. They're definitely not for me. I don't really know how to describe them. It's quite hard. Not a vibe. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wouldn't buy these ones again. We're on the final product. So we have another caramel blonde chocolate item. So these are lion bars. The thought of eating another bit of blonde chocolate is making my tummy turn a little bit. Wow, they're never normally this small, are they? Look, it's literally the palm of my hand. The caramel is literally like leaking. That's actually quite disappointing. I don't know if it's because I've eaten so much blonde chocolate today. I'm a little bit immune to it. I mean, I haven't eaten that much when you actually think about it though, have I? It's just a couple of squares. But the blonde chocolate in this compared to the other blonde chocolate is very, very subtle. And it looks like it's full of caramel because it's like bursting out the bottom. But it's really not. Let me try one more bit. It's kind of all mushed together, you see? I definitely wouldn't be disappointed if this was in my lunchbox. <laughs> Wouldn't buy them again. They're nothing out of the ordinary and they could definitely do the flavours a little bit better. And that concludes today's taste test. I actually feel very overwhelmed by all the chocolate. I must say though that this has been a very successful taste test because there's quite a few things that I really like today, but I have picked my top three. This is definitely number one. This was so good. It tastes like a snicker but in a chocolate bar form. No wasted nougat or caramel, just pure chocolate, peanut buttery, salty vibes. Next up, we have the Milka Dimes. I just personally love dimes, so these are a great find for me. And last but not least, we have the Taco Pringles. I can't believe this literally tastes like Taco Bell in your mouth. Pringles have got these ones spot on. And that is it for today's taste test. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the new in things at B&M. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.